Hi, I'm public speaking coach Milo Shapiro, and welcome to Business Advantage, the show where we focus on businesses that have the potential to give you the advantage. Most of us go into business because we have an expertise in something, and we want to share that with the world. But running a business is a whole different set of skills, especially for entrepreneurs. But since 1991, my guest today has helped those people get through the business struggles so they can do the thing that got them there. And she accomplishes this through mastermind groups where everyone shares as well as getting her own seasoned advice. Barbara Eldridge of MindMasters.com, welcome to Business Advantage. Good to see you, uh, Milo. It's been a been an interesting day getting getting ready for this. So <laughs> we got you through some. Me. We got you through some tech challenges, and now we're ready to make this happen. So let's dive right in. Why did you start Mind Masters? Well, you know, having run several of my own businesses over the years uh, by myself, you, you get to realize that uh, it's not an easy task. Learning, experiencing, uh, getting the information, overcoming the challenges really uh, can slow things down for, especially for an entrepreneur. Yeah. And when you work alone, it, it really does create that. I always had a mastermind group of my own. And um, having done one of the other businesses, somebody said to me, why don't you do these mastermind groups for us? You're the one that's always putting us together. And so consequently, <laughs> we kicked off Mind Masters. The, the business that I was running at the time um, had supported us by suggesting that we do group sessions with people, not necessarily teaching them, but just giving them an advantage to the materials we were we were marketing. So it it got kicked off, and as you said, in 1991, and um, we've been we've been on the track with it ever since. So it's there is something about the small business owner that most people don't really understand when people are working alone. And so it it really made a difference for the people that were in my groups and the groups grew from there. It's it's much less lonely, I would think, feeling like each week you can talk to the people there about what's going on for you. Well, not only do they talk about what's going on, they're, they're challenged by the things that um, they're hearing, not just necessarily what's happening for them but just look at us right now with ai you know some people have started using it other people haven't touched it technology has created a lot of situations for people so there's different things that people bring to the table sometimes they just have to unload but it's having that support system that makes a difference to them to get clarity on where where they are you know what's happened what did they miss? Perhaps somebody, you know, all somebody has to say is, yeah, well, when I did that, I did X, Y, Z. And it was yeah. like, wow, there it is right on the, right on the spot. And, and they walk away with that. It, it, it opens up a whole new world for them sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes finding out what somebody else struggled with and they can get you right to the point. You may not have the same struggle. What kind of people join Mind Masters and had success there? Well, I really believe the small independent service business owner was the ones that needed the most help you know when you when you have products it's a whole different ball game be, you know because you get into uh, distributorships and products and all of that so the service business owner generally works alone and uh, consequently we've had people who are <laughs> who are uh, graphics people I've had a dentist I've got the CPA I've had <laughs> We helped somebody be, go from being in a CPA office to becoming a CPA and then eventually becoming the a partner in the CPA firm. I mean, that's how he worked through it in Mind Masters. We have, um, you know, people that are trainers, you know, physical trainers, acupuncturists. I mean, it's just a myriad of these self, self-employed entrepreneurs that, that work very hard at what they do and they and, have the skill set but it's the creating right. the business to promote the skill set that can just be it can drain people out of doing what they want to do and it's it's you know a lot of the times i say you know if you've e experienced the work that you want to do with with another company great um sometimes coming to mind masters without the business behind you can overwhelm you because there's so much offered there and you know not just not just the tactics, but just just the way to approach things and, and being with other people that understand your challenges. So I think most most of us have a pretty good sense of what individual coaching is. 
or group coaching or networking? How is my master's different than those three things? Well, let, let's be honest. You know, coaching coaching right now is is huge market, but most coaches are, I believe, are dealing with people internal things that people are dealing with. It's you know internal growth and and that that personal development type thing. In terms of some of the other group coaching, I have found most of them most of them come from people who are topic experts, and you know so they bring you know, almost an instructional type of, of thing to a group meeting. Not so much, you know, you want to, it's let's do it my way. Here's the way to do it. Here's the format to do, you know, type of thing. It's, it's doesn't necessarily open the door to the kind of um, exchange that we do at Mind Masters. And so um, then, you know, very honestly, I, I mean, I grew Mind Masters through networking and that's the exchange of, of business leads. I have a policy in Mind Masters that if you want to do business with somebody, get to know them, and then you can you can approach them. You're not here to sell yourself, so it relieves people of holding on to you know what they want to share, so they can be very open to to um, feeling good about it. So it's a little different perspective when you look at it from that standpoint. That kind of takes some of the pressure off. What actually happens at a Mind Master meeting? What do you do there? Well, you know, I think the biggest challenge most small businesses have <clears throat> is sharing that they've achieved something just during the week that they have they have gone from step one to step two. And so we start out with asking them what was their achievements or accomplishments for the week. I mean, you know, they'll tell you what they didn't get done, but I want to know what they have gotten done. Got to give and themselves then, credit. Yeah. And, you know, somebody can pat them on the back. Why not? Who else pats a small business owner on the back? And then um, we look at, oh, you true. know, I, I always have a, a small topic. You know, I, I believe we have the four areas of business, the management, marketing, financial, and leadership aspects of it. And so I find a topic, I have moved more <laughs> into creating it as a question first and, you know, letting them discuss what, the answer to that question is how they feel about it. And I can add some things to it. But the real essence of the meeting is that each person, each and every person in the group gets time to share the challenge, an idea, the resources that they're looking for to support them to, to, to move from step one to step two or to step five. It, it just, it really helps them. And then when they finish that, we ask them what their commitment's going to be for the week. Mm. And I have, I have I have forms that, you know, that have been going around for years that uh, they write that down and I usually get a copy of it so that I know what that is. And in the process, on a weekly basis, they get a phone call from me <laughs> just to check, just nothing, nothing heavy duty, but just how's your week going? How's, you, how's it going? Sure. What kind of support, you know, do you need? Or is there a question I can answer for you? And And we go from there. They're very short brief questions unless they have something that they really need to to work out but I really feel like you have someone in your corner I, I, I love the sound of that one of the things I'm wondering is are they all in person because obviously they, they you've been doing this a long time they must have been in person are any of them virtual now they're they're all virtual now oh. you know I used I used to have five groups COVID COVID chopped us down quite a bit I have three groups now that meet on a weekly basis it's all zoom I tried the one group that's been together probably the longest really wanted to go back to in person and I but at this point I have actually brought in people I have somebody from Boston I have somebody from North Carolina um, from northern uh, San Diego and so it's I tried the hybrid effect and it, that just did not work I the can people see why that it came in came in person were different and yeah. and there just wasn't the, the relationship wasn't there so i went back to the zoom calls and that's how we're that's how we're handling it at this point so and how great that someone who's in a small area that might not have pulled a mastermind together now can participate with boston and san diego exactly uh, i know you're at this for 32 years so one thing i'm wondering is how has your focus in running my masters changed or has it well for a lot of years it didn't change i just grew my groups and you know as i said i did a lot of it through networking and and did all of that and, you know, about 10 years ago, I started getting questions about what else I was going to do. <laughs> and 
then I actually had two of my former members come to me and say, we want to do this. And so, you know, it was always in the back of my mind. I used to think I was the only one that could do it, but it was in the back. I realized, you know, you get to a point where people relate to each other differently and they relate to me differently than they would somebody else. And so um, I now have three licensees and that's what I've opened the door to, to, to expand on. These are people, as I said, that have experienced, had experience in Mind Masters and truly wanted to be able to do it. I've got somebody up in Ventura County um, and uh, two people here in San Diego, you know, different, different markets, different, different ways that they deal with people. They really maintain their own um, business name if they want to. Mind Masters is, is, the, is the support system that they offer in that, in that way. So it's the umbrella that, that the umbrella. they're under. Exactly. If so. this is sounding really good to someone who's listening, they're thinking I should be in a group like that. That would, and I want Barbara in my corner or one of the people Barbara is licensing to. What's the best way for them to reach out to you? Well, you've got it up there. The mindmasters.com <laughs> website. If you go to the contact section, my phone number is there. It's my direct line. Uh, um, and also there's a form they can fill out if they choose to send it to me that way. But um, we, we're open to talking to people about the groups they could be in or even the people that would be interested in, in doing uh, licensing to become a facilitator. That's what the difference is that Mind Masters, this Mind Master certification is. It, you learn how to facilitate a group, not teach a group. <laughs> Great. Well, we need to wrap, Barbara. It's been great having you with us. Thank you very much for having me. This has been this has been fun. Great. I if love it. Like, <laughs> if you'd like to be a guest on Business Advantage or see other episodes, visit businessadvantage.xyz. And if you'd like to learn about improving your public speaking skills, visit the homepage for miloshapiro.com. Till next time, I am Milo Shapiro wishing you good health, good times, and good business. Take care.